walking through yako wewe na mimi sisi katika a natural man you are a natural man we ni mtu wa kawaida lakini nguvu ya Mungu imeanza kazi ya ajabu in your life hiyo nguvu ya Mungu ya ajabu inapoanza kutembea na kuonekana na kutenda kazi tunasema mafuta ya Bwana imeanza kazi haleluya haleluya now utajuaje ume mafuta ya Bwana imeanza kazi in your life i like to check, check a scripture in the book of Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3 I hope you you can accept that scripture. Bible nasema hivi Isaiah 61 verse 3 Kuagiza hao wali yao katika sayuni wapewe taji ya maua badala ya majivu mafuta ya furaha badala ya maombolezo vasi la sifa badala ya roho zito wapate kuitwa miti ya haki iliyopandwa na Bwana ili atukuzwe haleluya to appoint unto them that the mountain zion to give unto them beauty for ashes oil of joy for mourning garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called tree of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified hallelujah Haleluya. Now, ni kama wakati ambapo mafuta ya Bwana inafanya kazi, kuna a exchange program. Kuna mambo ina exchange. Bible inasema kuagiza hao walio sayuni wapewe nini? Number one, taji ya maua badala ya nini? ya majivu Look at the exchange Taji ya maua badala ya majivu Majivu ni ashes Ashes ni kitu kinaonyesha waste kutumika kuisha instead of how watu kuwa na roho ya kuisha wawe na roho ya celebration dio taji ya maua Haleluya. Na japo la pili ni kwamba wawe na nini? Mafuta ya furaha. Haleluya. The oil of joy. Badala ya kuomboleza na kuumia. May God exchange those things now. In Jesus name. Haleluya. When do you know anointing imeanza kazi? Because there's an exchange program. The Lord changes things now. Bandara ya wewe kusikia wewe ni kitu kimeisha, majivu. God gives you a new beginning and celebration. Katika maisha what normally happens mtu anapoishi duniani hii. Dunia hukufanya uonekane kama kana kuwa bomeisha. You are gone, umeisha. What will the anointing do? Hallelujah. But that I could see you meisha. It brings a new beginning. It gives you. It gives you. It gives you something better. It gives you beauty. Badara ya ashes. May God give you beauty instead of ashes. 
Mungu akupatie mwanzo mpya. Wewe ambao unaonekana ni kama mareji yako inaisha, wewe ambao unaonekana ni kwa na kwamba ni kama utahama Nairobi, ni kama utafuka hiyo biashara, ni kama huo mtoto wako hakuna hope ya performance, ni kama future future baada ya future kuonekana inakuja baada ya kuona utukufu mbele unaona hali ya kuisha those are the ashes but god is saying something instead of those ashes god gives you now beauty beauty oh bwana may god make everything beautiful now oh hallelujah that anointing change you from ashes to beauty i say anointing change you from ashes to beauty bwana akupe taji badala ya majivu when do you know anointing imeanza kazi because it must destroy the life of ashes and bring the life of beauty may the lord do that kanisa lolote watu wakiabudu vizuri that's what God will do. Mtu yote akipiga magoti na usiwe na haraka, uombe vizuri. That's what God will do. Amen. Praise him when you praise and praise. Things change. Mtu ambaye alikuwa anafikiri kama anaweza kufa, unasikia ni kama Mungu anakuambia, "Now, ninaanza safari mpya na wewe." Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why ukiangalia mzee kama mtu kama Elijah katika 2nd Kings chapter 9 2nd Kings chapter 9 you find ndugu wetu Elijah anasema kitu hapo 2nd Kings chapter 9 Nabi let's see the scripture now Nabi Elisha mhm mm no 1st Kings chapter 19 sorry 1st Kings chapter 19 First Kings chapter 19 sorry First Kings chapter 19 Basi akaondoka huko akamkuta Elisha mwana wa Shafati so chapter 19 Basi Ahab akamwambia Ezebeli Ezebeli verse 1 First Kings chapter 19 verse 1 Basi Ahab akamwambia Ezebeli habari ya mambo yote aliyo yafanya Elia na jinsi alivyowaua manabii wote kwa upanga dipo Yezebeli akampelekea Elia mjube kusema miungu na wanifanyie hivyo na kuzidi nisipokufanya roho yako kesho panapo wakati huu kama roho ya moja wapo ya hao hii inaitwa ashes bwana somebody reduces you to ashes elijah ametoka kwa mlima after great triumph vua imerejea watu wameanza wameacha kuabudu bali manabii wa, mash, wa bali wameangamia wote everybody is saying jehovah is god jehovah is god na ahab the king alipotoka kwa mlima mahali mungu alijibu elija na moto alienda kuripot kwa jezebel that's what happens when you marry the wrong wife or wrong husband badala ya kuwa katika uhusiano wa kujenga moja, wa, moja wenu huwa mtumwa wa mwingine I wish you could that interpretation marriage is supposed to be a union that takes you from great to glory but when you marry wrongly one of you becomes slave of the other and that's why unajua Ahab wakati wake wa kuoa alitoka Israel akaenda kule Sidon i think north northwest or north akaenda kule juu akachukua mwanamke ambaye anaabudu mapepo just because she was beautiful akaoa Jezebel so kwa maana yeye wakati wote unaoa Jezebel wewe ndiye mtumwa Jezebel 
ni roho ya usherati ni roho ya ibada za shetani is a spirit na that's why ahab alipata jibani hata kama ameona utukufu ilibidi ainamie mke wake Jezebel eh aende ile watu wanaita adhia uburi sema wewe unajua leo tumetandikwa tume na Elijah na Jezebel akasemaje edeni muambie Elijah au reduce him nitamshusha vile manabii wameuawa manabii wangu wameuawa hivyo ndivyo nitamua kesho that is the now the spirit of ashes something we wakati hapo nafikiri una starehe kuna tokea kitu cha kukufanya usikie wewe si mtu wewe si mtu wewe si mtu you are nothing hello praise god na roho ya roho ya Jezebel that how it works it makes you to be nothing and please watch out don't introduce your roho in your family and in your business now Elijah alipon alipo abo hivyo if you go to verse 3 nasema naye alipoona hayo aliyodoka akaenda ili ahifadhi moyo wake alienda wapi check verse 3 what did he go Beersheba eh aha ara what happened ukienda okay, verse 4 alipofika jagwani akaenda akaketi chini ya muretemu akajiombea roho yake afe inaitwa spirit of ashes but god can change you from that spirit to the beauty jesus bring our beauty now huraba shakataba katika meza ya bwana leo the lord is removing you from ashes to beauty that's one level of anointing that god is giving this church it has to receive your miracle from now i say it has to happen hallelujah 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 and uh, and i say my god but that i knew when a jezebel and i'm your prophet you can kill me elijah preferred being taken away by god in god's way but rea jezebel mtumishi wa shetani kumuua in her way but wakati sasa jezebel amemrush amemrushia elijah roho ya ashish roho ya majivu god brought beauty to this man hallelujah amen Ukienda okay, verse 5 7 na naye akajinyosha akalala chini ya muletemu na tazama seven seven na tazama I like this moment and I know the age this age is around here I know this age is around here na tazama dada uliyeingia ibada hii ukiwa unajinyosha ufe ukiwa already ulikuwa umewekwa mawazo sio yako mawazo kuna mawazo unawekwa na roho ya Jezebel it's not yours wewe wewe ulikuwa usherekee ukuwa bwana lakini kuna roho ya kifo roho ya umaskini roho ya ufukara roho ya ugonjwa inakwambia utakufa i want to declare the visitation of the lord in this service i want to declare the visitation of the lord The Lord has confirmed to me the way alitembelea Elijah akiwa chini ya muletem he is visiting bishop Gatimo is visiting your family wakati alilala chini ya muletem maraika akamguza akamwambia inuka ule amen hallelujah ukiangalia okay, now verse 4 the confession of Elijah kitu ambao hakuwa nacho ni cha kuwekelewa ni uzito umekuja aisemaje alienda wapi kwa jangwa siku mwendo wa siku moja akaenda akaketi chini ya muletemu what did he say akajiombea roho yake afe akasema ya tosha sasa e bwana uiondoe roho yangu kwa kuwa mimi si mwema kuliko baba zangu 
May God remove this prayer from you. I say, God remove this confession from you. God remove this pain from you. God remove this message from you. Hali ya kusama ya tosha. Mimi si mwema kuliko baba yangu alia kufa na itinu ho. Umepata ugojo ambaye diyo iliwa babu yako. And you feel like you are going to die like your grandfather. I say you are not going to die like your grandfather. I kitu ya kuekerewa it must end today. Nataka meza abwane kuchia haraka. We want to part. Hallelujah. We want now to enter into that now very quickly. Because today as we partake the Holy Communion. A great miracle is happening in this church. A great miracle is happening in this church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, but I'm declaring to you Tazama Malaiki kawabwana Akamuguza Akamambia si wakati wakufa Rise up And eat God is starting His own season That you never thought about May God lima shakatarababu God is starting A season I tell you, apostolic faith party, God is raising a new season. Rise up and eat. Kwa maana hauta kufa na jia Jezebel. Utaodoka duniani in a prophetic way. Hauta marizia muendo vile dunia inataka umarizie. Utamarizia muendo in God's prophetic way. Hallelujah. Hauta jinyosha ukufe. Uta jinyosha wabudu. Hauta kachini ya mulete muteno seme ya tosha. God is refusing that. I say by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost is canceling all these things. Rise up! Hallelujah. Where were you saying in Atosha? But now, God is saying, Hey, Toshi, rise up. Rise up. And something else God you do. Kuna kitu mungu ataweka kwa macho yako. Ulikuwa huoni kama kuna pesa hulikuwa huoni kama kuna jia but God is placing something into your eyes Bible asema verse 6 akatazama kube if you check your Bible jina kube in exclamation mark this exclamation mark is a surprise God you bring a surprise mpaka kwe na statement in exclamation mark kube hallelujah hallelujah vijana bo muko shure I'm going to declare to you utapata grade useme kube hallelujah I'm announcing to you kesho kieda biashara God will cause you to rise up to rise up na atakuwa bia tazama na utasema oh kube may God bring this to a life akasema kube pana mkate listen hu mkate hau kutoka kwa manadamu can I do something if God can cook bread and supply to a prophet we must believe God in a complete way kama mungu agepika chakura na inanguka jagwani ikiwa hot and people could eat food from the kitchen of heaven then God is perfect and complete in all ways. Come a Broadway na company zigina they can cook bread. God has better bread. May Jesus do something. Hallelujah. Kube mkate uko. Hotel was there. And a cruise of water. Nagudulia la maji. 
kichwani pake akala akanywa akajinyoosha tena now the problem is hallelujah the threat was too heavy kwamba ilibidi elijah apate a double portion of revelation ameamka amekura amekunywa lakini amerudi tena kwa ile position alikuwa amelala ya kufa and then god said now malaika wa bwana akamuendea mara ya pili i pray for first and second visit, visitation until you are completely raised until you are completely raised i say now it just take over this service i i just pray that it just take over the minister of it just take over your family minister of it just take over your son and up in your business may god take over your son and up in your dormitory and up in your hostel and up in your deck ya kienda kusoma ngabo may the ministry of it just take over atatebero amara ya kwanza akionekana haelewi mungu wangu hata Joka, he will still come for the second touch. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Is that me any hallelujah? Ina mikono miko ba mapya bana hallelujah. Mapya baba waniweza wanitosha. Wanijali. You are great God. I worship you. Oh baba wa binguni pokea sifa. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I worship you, Lord, because you have the first visit and the second one. If you don't understand in the first one, God, you come second time. I promise you God is coming again hata kuacha mpaka uamke hata kuacha mpaka uamke hata kuacha mpaka uinuke The Bible says the age of visitors second time na alipokuja kabla na my brother mara ingine hallelujah inuka ule but the second time God introduces God introduces a project. Mara kwanza ilikuwa tu kula na ukunywe. But the second visitation is not only eat and drink. There was introduction of a project. I say Bwana anakutobea mara ya pili. Si ule tu na ukunywe, he introduce a project. I say he will introduce a project. The second touch Included kula unywe why maana safari hii ni kubwa mno kwako you are not dying you have a great project ahead of you i announce to you prophetically you will die at the right time you will die being an achiever you will die prophetically you will die na utakapofika mwisho you shall bless generations you shall bless generations kwa maana elijah alienda safari ya siku 40 hali kitu na nguvu za Mungu na Mungu alimchukua in his own way na aliacha ametia Elisha mafuta aliacha double portion kwa Elisha akamchagua mwingine anaitwa Jehu akachagua Hazaeli in the office that was required to take over taifa la Israeli aliaba utatoka hapa baada ya kuinua watumishi watakao tosheresha huduma Muinue Jehu aingie Israeli Muinue Hazaeli ataongoza Israeli na uende umuinue Elisha achukue para pako Jesus I worship let's rise up on our feet Hmm